Hi, it's Pastor Julie. Are you ready for church? Hi everyone, it's Pastor Julie here. Welcome to Kids Flicks. We're so happy that you could do church online with us today. It's a special Sunday. It's the first Sunday of Black History Month. So we're gonna have a whole episode dedicated to celebrating our differences and all the different people that God created. So I'd love for you to get up to your feet because we're gonna worship. So yes, that means you, Hendrix. Uh-huh, I see you. Uh-huh, Anaya, I see you too. I don't miss anything. Parker, hi Parker, hi baby. Philip, oh, hello Philip, hi baby. All right, everybody get to your feet. Uh-huh, Natalia, Viviana, you too. And yes, you, River. All right, let's do it. Let's worship in three, two, one. Let's go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. E here. Pastor Julie told me you were going to be coming by, and so I just wanted to wish you a happy Black History Month. Isn't it cool that God created us all unique and different, yet He loves us all the same? He made us all so special because He is a super wonderful God, and that is what we're going to sing about today, God being a super wonderful wonderful God that loves us unconditionally and watches over us every day. So this song has motions. Are you excited to do some motions with me? All right, great. Make sure you learn them really good because when I'm playing the guitar, I can't do them for you, okay, to show you how to do them. So let's learn them together right now. It goes like this, super big. So we're going to hold out our arms real wide, super strong, and then we're going to make muscles, right? Super wonderful, just reach your hands up to the sky. And then when you say God, you're gonna go like this, God, super big, super strong, super wonderful, God. You got it? All right, let's try it together with the music. Super big, super strong, super wonderful, God. Super big, super strong, Super wonderful God, super big, super strong, super wonderful God, super big, super strong, super wonderful God, sing oh oh oh, you got it yeah oh oh, oh. sing it again yeah oh. God is strong, He'll do anything big or small, nothing is impossible for a super wonderful God. And every day I can know God is always there for me and my family. And every day I can know greater is the one who lives inside me. Sing it. Super big, super strong, super wonderful God. Super big, super strong, super wonderful God. Oh, 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 oh. My God is strong. He'll do anything big. Small. Nothing is impossible for a super wonderful God. Every day I can know God is always there for me and my family. Every day I can know greater is the one who lives inside me. Super big, super strong. Super wonderful God, super big, super strong, super wonderful God, come on, super big, super strong, super wonderful God, super big, super strong, super wonderful God. 
great singing. Hey, it was so cool to share this song with you today. I can't wait to do it again next week. I'll see you then. All right, guys, this is Mr. E signing off. See you later. And remember, God is super big, super wonderful, and he loves us all the same. All right, remember that this week. Have a great week, okay? Bye-bye. I mean, hi, uh, welcome to RLC. You must, you must be new here. No, I'm not new. No? No. Oh, uh, oh, well, forgive me. Uh, my name is Kim. Uh, who are you? I'm Pastor Julie, Kim. Pastor Julie! <laughs> oh, there's no way you're Pastor Julie, because Pastor Julie does not have that size of a... Yep, that, that size before. So, um, anyways... Forgive me. Um, it's it's great meeting you here, but <laughs> I just can't. Your head is so rich. You must be really smart. I mean, the the capacity of it is just. I'm smart. I mean, you must have a big brain. Damn. Wow, how does it feel to be that smart, having this size of a head? I feel good about it, Kim. Oh man, I have got to take a picture of this. No. What do you mean? I mean, Pastor Julie is going to flip. She's not going to believe me. I am Pastor Julie, Kim. <laughs> it's me. The stuff you're coming up with in that noggin, that's why you're so smart. Look at you. I got to take a picture. Let me, let me get the camera. No. This is Kim. Instagram worthy right here. Kim, no, no. Me. Okay, ready? Not, I'm not a freak show, Kim. <gasps> I don't understand. Ready? Get a three. One, two, three. Cheese. Oh, yes. Okay, Instagram right now. No one's going to believe me. This is going to go viral. Yeah. 100%. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hashtag. What? Big head problems. Hmm. Guys, let's think about that. Do you think that I did the right thing with how I treated Pastor Julie just because in that moment she may have acted or looked or did something different than what I'm used to seeing? Mm -hmm. Yes? No? What do you guys think? Hmm. I'll let you guys think about that. My opinion, I don't think so. Of course, I was just acting for you guys. I would never actually act like that in real life because I know that that isn't right. Just because someone is slightly different doesn't mean you have to treat them that way. Yeah, Kim, you were kind of a bully. Like, it came a little too natural for you, Kim, okay? I don't know what you did in elementary school, but that came flowing out nice and easy, huh? You know what, guys? I'm not hurt. Pastor I'm not hurt. I'm just, I'm just I'm saying. I'm okay. Uh, that in my BC cool. days, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I might have been. I am not that person now. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I am Thank different, you, Jesus. and I would never bully you or anyone else. Thank you. Ever. And we know that that's so not okay to like make fun of anyone because they're different. God created everyone to be different, but in a weird way, we're different, but we're all alike because we all look like Him. So if you think about it, when you make fun of someone who is different because of the language they speak or the color of their skin or what they look like, anything at all about them, when you make fun of that person or even when you think something mean about that person, you're actually making fun of God. You know what I'm saying? Because we look like God. So when you make fun of that kid in your class who's different, well, you're making fun of God. And God would not be okay with that. We all have to love each other no matter what we look like or how different we are. Because in the end, we're actually the same. We're made in the image of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> What? Oh, the tables have turned. Mm.
What do you mean? So good. No, no, nothing. nothing. What? Nothing. Something on my face? No, nothing. 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 Something wrong? No. Oops, didn't see you there. My name is Pitzel and we're gonna be doing the Bible verse together. You guys can grab your Bibles or you guys can follow along on the screen. The verse for this week is Genesis 1, 27. So God created mankind in his own image. Male and female, he created them. All right, let's say it together now. So God created mankind in his own image. Male and female, he created them. Thank you so much for doing church with us today. Please like and follow us on our Instagram page to have more information on RLC kits. Let's close out in prayer. Jesus, thank you for this amazing week that we are able to have. Help us make a difference in the world. Amen. I love you guys. Have a safe week. Bye. All right. Thank you so much for doing church with us today. So our encouragement with this lesson today is just for you guys to really understand that no matter what we look like, we all look like God. So I know that when I first came here, um, when I was young, and no, I didn't actually come from like Korea, although I know what it, that's what it looks like. I actually moved here from Texas. I know, weird, right? But my parents are from Korea, and where I grew up in Texas, it was a really small town, and I was the only Asian girl there. But strangely, I didn't really experience any kind of bullying or racism, maybe I was too young. But when I came here to California, I remember driving in with my parents. Well, I wasn't driving. My dad was driving, I was in the car. And we pulled up to a light and there was another car next to us. And the people looked in and then they looked at me and they, they said, they actually said this, I remember, go back to China. Ooh, yeah. I remember that because it just made me feel so embarrassed and so ashamed. And I remember thinking, maybe I should go back to China. I, I don't know what to do. I don't belong here. Although I'd never been to China before. Maybe I should go back now. I don't know, but my whole world collapsed. And what I want you guys to know is that your words have power. And what you say really matters. And that thing that someone said to me when I was eight, I mean, I'm further, and it still stays with me. So I want you guys to look at the people around you who are different, and I want even your thoughts to be different. And I want you to love them, and I want you to pray for them, and I want you to give them a hug. Well, not right now. Give them a kind of a space, you know, like a distance hug. But when we can, I want you to be able to go up to them and, and be their friends because God made everybody looking like him. And so we should love everyone. Amen? All right, guys. See you next week.